This is a 1948 Ford F1. It's an all original matching numbers truck. Three speed on the floor. second owner. Ah, and I'm grinding the gears there because you need to really slow down before you put it into uh, it's, she's still warming up. It's been super cold here in Georgia. But you got to slow all the way down before you put it in that first gear and I didn't do that so I was grinding it in the granny gear. That was my, that was my fault not the truck's fault. shadow going on there but Turn it off and we'll take a walk around the truck. Like I said, the uh, second owner bought this vehicle in 1970 from the original owner. I still have the original title on it. In 1972, he did a bumper to bumper restoration on the truck. And then since then has babied, very, very much babied it. Um, it's all original, it's all original steel. It doesn't have any replacement parts put on it. Ugh. And uh, it's been kept in the garage, only driven back and forth to car shows, basically. It's in beautiful condition. This is not a show truck. This is a original, I would say this is like an original survivor kind of a condition of truck. Meaning, it's in very nice condition, but it's not a show truck. This doesn't have a $15,000 candy apple red paint job on it. You know, somebody painted this thing in 1972, and honestly, aside from a couple of minor imperfections, it looks like they painted it yesterday. I mean, you can tell that it's been babied. You can tell that it's been kept by an elderly gentleman. Um, you can tell that it's been loved. The body lines are arrow straight. It doesn't have a ding, dimple, nick, or scratch on it that I can find. It's got uh, typical wear spots on the paint where the, where the, um, where the hood closes. There's some spots right there where the hood closes, where the paint is scratched. And I think I'll notice one spot here inside, maybe where it didn't get shot quite enough or something there years ago. The only other imperfection, if you want to call it, in the paint, which I kind of like, is this is paint, this paint is so old right here behind the uh, steel that it's got a patina to it. And that's just from age. So, the uh, chrome on the front looks immaculate. The chrome bumpers look immaculate. The chrome running down the sides. Every piece is in excellent condition. We'll go in the inside in a second. The second owner that I, we just picked the vehicle up from, he said even the, uh, the uh, interior the, and the headliner is original. So, wood bed in the back. Painted uh, black. Looks very nice. The step-ups. All in excellent condition. I mean, back of the cab corners. I mean, this is a sharp truck. Very, very sharp. I mean, look underneath that here. Of course, that piece is just a piece that needs to be, you know, put on like that. But, I mean, perfect 
four pans. It's got the old original toolbox in the back with the original tank. That's actually the original jack that came with the truck. The old, the old uh, horsehair style wrapper around it. That's an old kind of like a potato sack looking, you know, thing behind it. Somebody put a, um, a fire extinguisher in here. According to the uh, owner, this is the original headliner. When they painted the truck, they took the original headliner out and put it back in. This seat looks nice. It's got one spot. Maybe somebody had a tool or something in their pocket when they got in. And there's one little spot right there. That's the only imperfection I see in this seat. Uh, another thing that the uh, owner told me is that this truck actually originally was a very rare option, but it came with a re original stereo. And that's the original radio. But the uh, original radio that was in the dashboard was broken. They took it out when they did the restoration, put that plastic piece in its place. That is the original gauges. And I do have the original title in hand. I think I said that earlier. Uh, underneath the truck is immaculate. There's no rust on this truck. It's a For Florida state truck, Southern states truck. This is one of the best original style condition vehicles, old trucks that I've ever had. You can still see there's some, you know, it has been sitting in the garage some and being pulled out every once in a while and driven it. I literally just got this in so you see some cobwebs there. I didn't even run it through detail. That's how nicely the gentleman I got this truck from kept it. The brake light works, the front light works, uh, the headlights work, the, the, um, even the horn works. Now the original horn but do button does not work but it's got a horn button underneath and it does work. Uh, the original vacuum wiper works, but about as good as they ever did. So if you really wanted the wiper to work perfectly, you'd want to change it over to a um, electric um, wiper system. So I would just typically not drive trucks like these in the rain and put rain X on just in case you get caught in the rain. That's the original spare. I mean, what a find. I love this truck. It's not mint, like I said, it's not perfect, but it sure is nice. It's gonna make somebody a really sharp driver. Um, all the glass is in excellent condition. The rubber still looks new. On the uh, weather stripping still looks new. The doors open and close, the line, lines line up perfectly. The doors open and close like they should. Nice and solid. They don't, I mean, this is a very, very sharp truck. As I said earlier, what I would probably call an original survivor style or style condition. Um, the only thing that's missing is the original center cap, hubcaps. These are obviously off a mid-1950s model car, I believe. Um, look like a Crown Vic hub cap, style hubcap or something. I've got some beauty rings that can go with the truck if you want them. If you've watched this whole video and you heard me say that, just say, hey, Eric, I'd like to have those beauty rings. I've got them, but I don't have original center cap hubcaps for this. Otherwise, I would have taken those these these ones off and, and restored those back to original. So I do have a set of original beauty rings for this truck, though. They're original 1950s or late 40s models of beauty rings. So there you have it. I think uh, somebody's going to be super happy with this truck. It's ready to drive to the car shows. It's ready to enjoy it doesn't need anything at all it's mechanically sound um, and it's in great condition somebody's gonna really love this truck